This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses the data profiling task. Here's the data we'll be working with in this demonstration. Um, so we're using the large data sets database and a table called combined. And there you can see there are five columns that have data in them. And here we are in Visual Studio. I'll drag the data profiling task onto the canvas. We'll double click to open the editor. And the destination type, we're going to leave it set to file connection, but this also offers the ability to put it in a variable. So this is where it's going to write the results of its uh, analysis in an XML file. So for our destination, we need to set up a new file connection manager. And we want to create the file. It does not exist. So we'll browse to the folder where I want the file to be created and we'll call it data profile. And then I click on open and then OK to close the Connection Manager editor. And here you have the choice of overwrite destination. And it doesn't really matter because it's a new file, but I'll change that to true. And then I'm going to click on Quick Profile here. And we need to set up the Connection Manager for that table that I just showed you. So I'll click on New. And I'll type in the server name. And by the way, you can only profile data that can be accessed using the ADO.NET Connection Manager. And then we'll leave it set to Windows Authentication. And then we'll find our large data sets database. I'll test the connection, and it's good. And we'll click OK to close that Connection Manager, and then Back here in the Data Profiling task, I will select the table we want to use, which is called Combined. And then there's checkboxes for whatever type of uh, profiling you want this task to perform for you. And I'm just going to leave it set to the default there, but you have some other options. And then I'll click OK. And there you can see it set up the profile types that we want it to determine for us. And then I'll click OK to close the editor. And I'll save the package. Stay tuned to see how I view the results of the data profiling task after executing it. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? Especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS data flow components, transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. Download CozyRock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio. And now we will execute the package. And it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And I guess with some versions of uh, SSDT or Visual Studio, you can actually click on this button here, Open Profile Viewer, and it'll show you the results. But for whatever reason, it doesn't work in the version that I'm using. So another way is to just access the data profile viewer on your own 
First, I'll just show you that the, uh, the XML file has been created. It's called data profile. Oh, it does need to have an extension of .xml. And now we'll go find the data profile viewer application, which is over here. So here you can see the file path here. And um, data profile viewer.exe is what we're looking for to open. And uh, then we need to open that file that I just showed you that's an XML file. And so here is, you know, the combined table and you can click on candidate key profiles to see information about the key column. And then uh, we can click on the column length distribution profiles and see information about the lengths of the columns in our table can see information about the nulls, which we don't seem to have any null values in any of our columns. And then we'll click on column value distribution profiles. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.